Imagine, you walk into a room, and suddenly, everyone stops talking. Sound familiar? Or perhaps, you've discovered that your friends aren't letting you in on their private group chats. You don't get invited to parties, or anywhere else, for that matter. Whenever you get a notification on your phone and pick it up to check who's texted you, it's some update, promotion, or whatever. If any of this sounds familiar to you, let's get to the bottom of why people are avoiding you. Hi, you're watching YZ, a channel about anything and everything. And in today's video, we'll talk about 10 signs that might indicate you're making other people uncomfortable. Before we begin, make sure to click on the notification bell and subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. So let's dive right in. The first sign we're going to discuss is when a person you're talking to freezes up. Freezing is one of our built-in defense mechanisms which are triggered by stress and anxiety. In wild animals, it's known as playing dead and its purpose is to help us wait out the danger. So if someone freezes up in your presence, is unable to utter a single word, or if their movements seem stiff, there's a good chance that this person feels stressed out and uncomfortable. Oftentimes, the freeze response can be accompanied by sign number two, body blocking. If someone crosses their arms or legs while talking to you, it can mean one of three things. One, they're cold and they're trying to preserve body heat. Two, the conversation is making them feel defensive. Or three, they're actually uncomfortable around you, so they try to protect themselves in a way. Body blocking can also mean shielding yourself with a book, a bag, or some other object. Another telltale sign people are uncomfortable around you is number three, wincing and flinching. This is more than just a nervous tick. A wince is a facial expression characterized by squinted eyes and a wry mouth, not unlike the one you get when you're in physical pain. Meanwhile, a flinch is a quick and sudden body movement away from a perceived threat. Basically, if someone winches and flinches while talking to you, it means they don't find the conversation particularly enjoyable. This may lead to another behavior on our list. Number four, self-soothing. Admittedly, this sign is hard to recognize because self-soothing can mean different things to different people. Playing with your hair or accessories, tapping your foot or finger, clicking a pen, rubbing your hands together, we all have our preferred strategies for self-soothing. When we are uncomfortable talking to someone, we may start doing these things to help us get through the conversation. Now, time for a little quiz. Did you know that there is an International Friendship Day? Can you guess when it's celebrated? A. January 1st B. September 10th C. December 30th D. July 30th And the correct answer is D. The first International Friendship Day was held on July 30th, 1958 by the World Friendship Crusade. On April 27th, 2011, the United Nations General Assembly proclaimed this date as the official International Day of Friendship. But back to our list. At number five, we have a clear sign of someone trying to escape from the conversation. Backing away. Normally, when a person experiences a negative interaction, their natural instinct is to run away. However, 
We live in a polite society where such behavior would be considered rude and unbecoming. Still, we can't help the instinct, so we try to create a distance between the other person and us by physically backing away. A similar technique of avoiding uncomfortable situations is sign number six, avoiding eye contact. When someone's making you feel uneasy, it can be physically difficult to look them in the eye because, somehow, the contact heightens that feeling of discomfort and you want to minimize it as much as possible. It's much more subtle than backing away, but still noticeable. However, an important thing to consider here is that some people are uncomfortable with eye contact, period. Doesn't mean that they're anxious around you in particular, they're like that all the time. Let's discuss another sign that people might be feeling uneasy in your presence. Number seven, they have a tired look. There's that unmistakable expression when someone's face literally falls in exhaustion. You know how we all have our social batteries? There's a finite amount of energy we can spend in a conversation, and when it runs out, we feel mentally and physically exhausted. This is especially true for uncomfortable conversations, as those tend to drain our energy the fastest. Now, let's switch it up a bit with our YZ fact of the day. Despite common stereotypes about men overputting their best buddies before their partners, the opposite is actually true. Yes, men value their families more than their friends. A large-scale survey of more than 3,000 men around the age of 50 was conducted in the UK. Those who were married didn't stop spending time with their friends. However, most said that their wives and children were more important to them than friendship. Research also showed that married men tend to be healthier and live longer than single men. So there's yet another reason to get hitched. But back to our list. Another sign we need to discuss is number eight, when someone starts talking fast. On the one hand, it can be a sign of excitement because when you're agitated, your heartbeat and breathing quicken. You're literally out of breath, so you involuntarily start to talk faster. But on the other hand, do you know what else causes agitation? That's right, stress and anxiety. Talking fast can also come off as babbling and be accompanied by excessive and dramatic gestures. Sometimes people even do it consciously in an effort to end the conversation as quickly as possible. If someone is trying to end a conversation, they might also resort to one-word answers, which is sign number nine. Ask yourself, if you were experiencing an uncomfortable exchange, would you elaborate on the subject to make it last longer? Of course not. One-word answers don't give the other person any cues to continue the conversation. Plus, they make it awkward, and no one wants to stay in an awkward situation. However, one-word answers might also mean that the person is distracted, too tired to speak, or simply shy, so consider that as well. And finally, the last sign you might be making people uncomfortable is number 10, nervous laughter. Some folks are naturally giggly, but when the laughter becomes excessive or seems forced, this might be a sign that the person is trying to consciously or unconsciously diffuse an uncomfortable situation. It can also be a form of self-soothing, which we've discussed earlier. To recognize nervous laughter, look at the person's eyes. If the person is stressed, their eyes will tell the truth. And there you have 10 signs you might be making people uncomfortable. We hope this list helps you become more self-aware and that you'll use this knowledge to improve your relationships. If you liked our video, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more interesting stuff about anything and everything. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.